Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can append an existing file. Therefore, to get started, I would like to share with you the code and I will also going to make this code available to you in the description of this video. So first of all, uh, what I did, I created a JFrame called image map and I implemented the interface called action listener so that it can perform the action. What I want to do is I have a nice little frame with a text box and a button and a picture that as a person enters a name and clicks the button that name will be added to a file and every time you put a name click the add button the name will be appended to the same file. So to get started, let's first create the file. So I will right click on my project and I will click new and I'll click the uh, file or untitled text file, doesn't really matter. And then we would like to save it. And I would like to call this one, I'll choose the project and I would like to call this one names.txt. That will be the name of my file, names.txt. Okay, now let's go over the code. In this program, I have a couple labels. One is the LBL avatar name, and other one is the avatar image. Then I have a text box and a button. Now, super, as you know, uh, is used to call the parent constructor, and whichever constructor matches, the argument will be the one that will be called. And this is how you can change the title, title bar, of the frame. So let me run it so that as I am showing you this code, you can actually also see the output. So here you can see that the image map, that an in an image app that you see in the title bar comes from line 22. Then I have an image called register.png, which you can actually see right here in the project. I'm loading it in the image icon. And the actual image is big, so what I'm doing, I'm scaling it to 40 by 40 pixels. So I'm using, uh, I'm, I'm loading, I'm calling the constructor of image icon class and storing it back in the same uh, instance icon, but then I am scaling by using get scale instance, and I'm using the buffered image for the smoothness. Then I have a button in which I'm using this icon and that's what you can see right here on the button, the icon. I'm not using any text on the button. Then I am making the button clickable. So when somebody clicks it will perform an action and that code is right below it which I'll take you next. But we have a label with the text enter name of avatar that you can see right here. And then I have an image uh, uh, in, in another label which you can see right here is actually an image that I'm loading directly through the constructor of JLabel. That's the avatar.jpg. And then I have a text field which you could see right here. I'm adding them in the sequence which makes them appear like this. Then I'm setting the layout to flow layout. Now, as you see that I replaced this Java icon with a different icon, and that's what I'm doing on line 38, where I'm calling set icon image, and then I am loading the image icon, and then I'm returning an instance through the get image. Then I'm making it visible and the whole nine yards. Now, what I'm doing an action perform, when somebody clicks the button, I want to grab the text that's written in the text box. This is the text box which, which, uh, was, which is named TXT avatar name. I'm grabbing the text. I'm adding a new line character to it so that the next name that will be entered uh, will automatically go on the next line. So, and I'm putting it all in output. Then I'm calling the write method of the files class and I'm reusing Java NIO package which is uh, better uh, than Java IO package, which is an older approach. So, and then I am calling the get method of the paths class to load the text file. And I am converting the string to bytes because that's what it takes as an argument, uh, something of type bytes. And then I'm calling the enumeration standard open option 
Usually, when I am um, writing to a file, I wouldn't use the word append. So now I'm using the word append, which is a value from the standard open option. And since we are on the subject, I would also like to show you that this is how you can incorporate an enumeration. So as I hover over, you can see this E next to it. That means it's an enumeration and it comes from java.nio.file package. Anyway, so when somebody clicks the button, I will be writing to that file, names.txt, the incoming text converted to bytes. If anything goes wrong, and it'll be appended, if anything goes wrong, it will print a stack trace. And this is where I'm uh, calling the constructor of the image app class and it's an unnamed instance. You don't need to name an instance if you're only using it for one. So let me uh, run this program again so that you can see it running. And as we enter values, so let me enter name and then let me click the button. Okay, it went through, I'll show you. And then it's a very simple application. So I have not done a lot of the other cool things, you know, notifications and stuff like that, because the whole purpose is to show you how you can append to a text file in a GUI application. And then you can, of course, add multiple values per record by making them comma separated and stuff like that. So let me click the button here. And now let me close this application. And let's uh, open the names.txt. And as you can see, as when I double click on names.txt, these are the two names that I send and they were added. Okay, let me run it again. This time I will add another name. And let me click here the button and let me close the file and let me open the names.txt and you can see that Alan was added right after Yusuf. So it pretty much allows you to append your data to an existing file. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.